All right, we're kind of changing gears here. This is a special edition. Uh, Miles went to see the Lone Ranger. I did not go because I was editing uh, SGC riffs. But he came back and um, he was. F uh, I could tell. I could tell that he needed to. He needed to vent because you, you you could see the look on his face because he's not the sort. He's not the sort who... He's the nice guy. I'm the nice guy! He doesn't He doesn't need to do this often. Everyone else. It was like, Iron Man 3. Right. You're all being too harsh on this. He's like, no, no, no. Superman, take it easy. So, yeah, he was <laughs> take it easy. sticking up for the Superman. <laughs> Star Trek 2, you're all getting bent out of shape over it. Right. But the Lone oh. Ranger. Lone Ranger. Tell us about the Lone Ranger, Miles. I'm, I'm going to conduct this interview for you here. Go on. <laughs> Tell. Okay. First off, the, well, I think what gets you about the Lone Ranger here is um, how long is the Lone Ranger? Two and a half goddamn hours. Two and a half hours. Yes. For okay. Okay. Was it? I I guess the backstory is. Uh, it, like we were explaining before of, of why I was going to this in the first place, I'm not a huge fan of the Pirate series. Um, I liked the first one. Mm. It was very entertaining. Uh, you know, I had my issues with it, namely that Orlando Bloom was bland and that it was even that was too long. Mm -hmm. uh, but still an enjoyable movie. And then the second and third ones, well, the, uh, this is the story of everybody... This is not a unique case to you, as everybody thought the first one was okay, and nobody liked the other ones. So, but they were still way long. I mean, even the second and third ones were two and a half hours. Hang on, it's always the case that whenever we shoot a vlog, Oreo is like, "I want to play with the squeaky toy." <laughs> See, I don't know. It's like it's an attention thing. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. But that being said, okay. I saw Rango. It was one of my favorite movies same that director. year, and the same, same director. So I thought maybe something could change with him changing settings. And no, this is like this well, is this is like Pirates Three. Well, the reason. With, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's it's Pirates Three with the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Well, the reason you, I think you bring this up is because that was the first thing I thought of was when I saw this trailer, I went, this is Pirates of the Caribbean, isn't it? Because, like, when I saw this, I was like, that's Orlando Bloom when I saw Army Hammer. And when I saw Johnny Depp, I go, that's Johnny Depp as Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. Because I'm like, I'm looking at him and I go, he's Captain Jack Sparrow, except he's an Indian. You know what I mean? Because it was, like, the exact same reveal... And he's just being, he's being wacky Johnny Depp, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's basically like, it really, it's kind of that thing where they got a bunch of producers sitting in a room and they're like, what are, what are we going to do here? And they're like, well, Pirates of the Caribbean was awesome. What if we just did that and we got, we got Johnny Depp to be, like, what if we just did that again except we got Johnny Depp being Johnny Depp? And they're like, good, beautiful. It's a, it's a buddy film and we got, you know, and yeah. So they just they just reproduce that formula like fucking R.I.P.D. Go. On. <laughs> Sorry, this is you venting. I understood why uh, Johnny Depp was the star of this. He's one of the last stars. One of the people you can guarantee that you can get millions of dollars if you put him in your movie. That's Robert why Downey they Jr. Can, yeah. He's one of the few people that can make money for you, so I understand why people are upset that an Indian is not cast as Tonto, but at, at the same time, they needed someone guaranteeing money for this franchise. Well, yeah. And if, if Woody Allen made $100 million a picture, they would cast Woody Allen as Tonto. I'm just saying money is the ultimate... Yeah, like saying anyone. Kimasabi, <laughs> you have to go stop the evil. Just a cow rustler. You gotta go get him. He's he's just silver bullets. <laughs> Ordinarily, I wouldn't use silver. It's really expensive. 
but you know, you gotta, you gotta use what you can get. It's the best I could do. By the way, you think we could stop and get, like, maybe, I don't know, there's a deli down by, by Santa Fe and maybe Deadwood. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> you know, John, you, blonde hair and blue eyes, I bet you're a credit to your race. I, <laughs> I know, it's, it's wonderful what you're doing with the mask. I like what, it's, it's great. I think, um, yeah, I, the horse, by the way, beautiful horse. I like, could I, you think I could have one? Um, that's where I got the name, by the way. Don't get offended. I just think it rolls off the tongue. Woody Allen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Woody Allen? I'm just saying anyone who, who would be a bankable star. Should have gotten the guy from Puma, man. You know? <laughs> it's just, you are the Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Your father jumped in the sky. <laughs> God, does Puma Man remind me of Lone Ranger? Does it? Does it? <laughs> That's, that... Okay. <laughs> How so? How does it really? Does it? Because he's such a, a reluctant. Oh, because he doesn't want to be the anti-hero in that he doesn't want to be a hero. Okay. Okay. Just prissy. Uh, like I mentioned, he's he's kind of like this. He's almost like C three PO in human form. He he's just like the 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 story is he's the district attorney come to town and and he believes in law and order and he's all slick and and proper and he doesn't believe in violence. Okay. Well, I, so to clarify, the Lone Ranger is a is a Nancy boy. That's how they frame him. Yeah. Everyone laughs at him. He comes in wearing the city clothes and he's got the big white hat. And people are just like, could you get a bigger hat? And, and, and he doesn't, he's a pacifist. Basically. He, do, he doesn't carry a gun. Oh, it, Jesus. And it, it just, it... Like so, because we have to give him a character arc. Yeah, he's... It, we couldn't just have him be a badass. We couldn't just have him, like, ride up. Because we, we couldn't just have a story about a badass lawman riding to town and just let's start fucking clearing house. We, we couldn't have that. And, like, I get that they're trying to tell a story that he's an unlikely hero, but they paint it to where he's not just an unlikely hero, he's an idiot. Yeah. Like, he's, he becomes part of the, the, the main bad guy, uh, escapes from custody. And, oh, and wait, who plays the main bad guy? Uh, Is he just somebody? I don't know the name. He's the guy you see around all the time in, in like, Jerry Bruckheimer movies. He, so he's that guy you, you know, but you don't know his name? Yeah. Okay. Um, so they form a posse, and they ride out, and like I said, they're coming into this canyon where they're going like, you know he's not going to go quietly, and you know that this is probably going to be an ambush. Why does the, why does the lawyer go with the posse? I don't know. His, his brother is the sheriff of the town, but why they take him along, I don't know. Why would they, Okay. But his brother goes like, "Here, take this gun. <laughs> it's gonna get dicey." And he's like, "He's like, I don't." I, I he's don't. like, "I will not take that gun." He's just like, "He's he's a violent criminal. He's killed people, and he's not gonna go quietly." And he's and just he's like, like, "He's like, he's like barbarians use it." No, he doesn't even take it like that. He's oh, like, "I will not take oh, it." He's, okay, no guns. Okay, and you're just like, "You're an idiot." Why did he ride along in the first place? Why go along in the first place? So he can Mirandize him or something? <laughs> Oreo, please. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. So he, as, as established in the trailer, he gets fucking killed. Everyone gets killed. And everything that has to do with him and comedy, uh, uh, him and action, it's a non-event or it's a comedic event. Uh -huh. Like... The, he, you think he's gonna fist fight with someone on the top of the train? He and just gets his ass kicked. He he, he does like the oh the he does the pugilist stance. And yeah, like the, I boxed in college. Right, right, right. This is so lame. And that yes, that's it. I mean, because I'll tell you right now, the best part of the movie is when the Lone Ranger does something, and he doesn't do anything until the two hour and ten minute mark. That's so lame because. This whole movie is like action blue balls because everything that's set up for an action scene it's undercut by taking the piss out of Lone Ranger. You just want to see the like okay wow I'm so happy I didn't see this movie. Like he's gonna like I said he's gonna 
they're going to ride in, they're going to get the bad guys in the canyon. Here, have a gun. No, I'm not taking a gun. Now, hang on. Now, now I don't remember the... Now, I remember the movie being like, there's kind of like, it's, it's kind of funny in that there's a bunch of close calls... Like, something would, like, fall from a train and, like, catch him, like, right between the legs. And he's like, woo! Or something like that. But I don't remember him them, them making him look like a pussy. I don't remember that. Like, they kind of made it look like it was exciting. Like, it was a thrill a minute or something. But I don't remember them showing him, like, doing that whole, like, gentleman box for, you he, know. He gets knocked around. Like, he like, gets beat up. He but gets it, beat up. And, and, like, the scene where you see the thing cut in between them, like... They stay on a train as it as it crashes, and so you you see the CGI Tonto and Lone Ranger fly thirty feet and they should be dead, but they fall and. But I don't remember him like not knowing how to shoot a gun. I don't remember him like being a coward. They all show the last twenty minutes, like him riding the horse in the train. Yeah, like shooting. I... Like that's the last twenty minutes. Yeah, I remember. Doing something then. <laughs> yeah, I remember them showing him doing action stuff, but I don't remember him like running. Like, I bet mean, there's scenes of him like running away and stuff like. Yeah, he like runs away from shit, but right. Yeah. So like the the tr- yeah, but I don't remember him like doing like coward shit in the trailer because like, that's yeah. So like he's basically a complete coward up until the last action scene. Then right. Yeah. You know. So like. Why would you do that? Like, that's not the Lone Ranger. At least not that I remember in the fucking old series. And to me, he becomes unlikable. By well, a yeah, point he's, because he's a, he's a fucking idiot. Because even by like a certain point, uh, they they come across the the main bad guy. Like I said, and this is a guy who's pure evil. Like the the reason why the Lone Ranger hates him is because he killed his brother. Not only does he kill his brother, he cuts his heart out and eats it. Wow. <laughs> Family movie. Wow. And then what, what's this rated? Uh, probably PG-13. Probably PG-13. Okay. Well, but yeah. still, it's, it's, it's aimed see it? at, like... Do you see the heart? Like, it, there's, It's very suggestive, okay, like, okay. you're seeing it well, through. Well, do you see gore? You see lots of blood. Oh, well... Okay, that's on the end. And it's, like, reflected in, in the character's eyes. Like, he's looking through it, so you, in, in the eyes you see the reflection of him taking something and going, like, oh, oh, oh. Hmm, it's on the edge, then. I don't know. It might be PG. But, like, he, they finally come across the main villain, and Tonto's like, kill him. Kill him. Do must love you. And he's like, I can't. I believe in justice. Fuck you! And Tonto's like, motherfucker, he... Killed your brother. He ate his brother's fucking heart, man. Not to mention the fact that once you bring him into town... They're gonna hang him. They're going to kill him anyway. There's no point to this. Did, kill it, him. Like, how many people were in the posse? Like, let's say 15? Uh, there were eight when, when eight. the Lone Ranger got killed. Or So, or, yeah, he fucking, he fucking butchered eight people. Like, this isn't gonna be... This isn't gonna be close. And so Tano's like, I'll do it. <laughs> And you then, need a gun, Chief. And then the Lone Ranger knocks out Tano. Oh, fuck that. With a shovel and takes him back for justice. And he you're is. just like... Does he get away? Like, does this... Does and you're just like, fuck him? you. Is that the end? Does he just take him back? Or no. Because like, it, it, the it leads to the... It leads to further betrayal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's him with a shovel. I would not be cool with that. Wow. Okay. So like that's that's really lousy like yeah that you would not want to watch that like you would seriously like if you were going to watch a Lone Ranger movie you would just want to watch the Lone Ranger like ride into town and be like this not like a killer but you just want to watch the Lone Ranger like ride into town and be like this fucking I'm trying to think through the whole movie of the, the action scene. You want to see a badass. Like, you want to see this guy fucking wipe... Not wipe people out, but you want to see him deal some justice. Like, you, yeah, you want to see him clean some clean house. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the action scenes, and, and I can't... I mean, there probably are some, but I can't think of any. And that's what... The, I was just, like, sitting there, just like, keep moving, please keep moving. Because, like... Just cutting through... I'm just talking about the action beats. There's one in the beginning 
where Lone Ranger and Tonto, he's not Lone Ranger, he's John, they, they get stuck on a train that gets derailed. That's an action scene, I guess. But they, they don't really do anything, they just get thrown off. And then they form a posse that, that chases after the bad guy, but there's no action in that. Um, he becomes the Lone Ranger at that point, and they do criminal investigations, like they're asking around town to where the bad guy is, and the, a posse, become, posse comes because they see an Indian in town, and they're coming to war with the Indians, and, yeah. and so they chase him out of town, but that's not really an action scene, and like all during this movie, like I said, the Lone Ranger doesn't do anything. And there's other ways you can do a character arc with this guy, where he's kind of incompetent, where like, okay, let's say you've got this guy who, you could even have the same guy who's kind of like a tin horn, you know, he's a lawyer, okay, and... You know, okay, his brother is a sheriff, and he's like, you know, we need we need to go on this trip. You know, we need to form a posse and go get this guy, and I need you, man. He's dangerous. You're like, take this gun. And he's like, I've never, I don't know, I ain't never fired a gun. I'm a fucking lawyer. And he's like, because, like, there's nobody else we need. So he, like, goes, and they all get wiped out. He comes back from the dead, and the Indian's like, he's like, you need to get vengeance for your brother. And he's like, I, but I don't know. And he's like, but you've got these powers now. Like, he's, uh, he has powers, or he's just back from the dead. They imply he can't be killed in combat. Okay. But, like, let's say, like... But he's like, you've been brought back for a reason, okay? And so, like, maybe they can do this thing where now that he's come back, he he has a... Re like, maybe whatever, like, physical defects that he might have had... Like, he's kind of like the crow. Like, because that's kind of what they're implying here. It's kind of like an Old West version of the crow. So at least he's come back from the dead... So let's say that, you know, whatever, he, he, he's kind of a spirit of vengeance now. So, like, you can do this thing where, like, at least he's come back and now he's got this thing to overcome. So where, like, you know what I mean? So he's got something to overcome and so you can have something where, like, he's not great at it, but he kind of starts fighting crime and building his way up. I'm even remembering back to when they... Uh did a new Zorro movie with Antonio Banderas. Yes. And they... Really, they did the same thing, but better, in that uh, he was a landowner, at least from what I remember, and, and someone comes and kills his family and tries to kill him, but he survives. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anthony Hopkins basically trains him to be Batman. Yeah, yeah. Zorro, in this case. And he fights crime as, like, avenging ghost, you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it is, and and it's kind of the same thing with this one. It's yeah, they, he's he's betrayed, and he comes back as as this ghost of vengeance. Yeah. Whereas you didn't have to make it a literal ghost of vengeance; they could just have him trained to be a badass. Yeah, so he comes back, and he's not like immortal, but he's like durable, you know. So like you can have him come back, and there's a learning process, and so that can be funny, but you can't you don't need to make him like a complete priss, you know. And so like. So there's there's an arc there, but at some point you got to knock it off with this and there's this goof thing, and you can still have comedy. You can still have yes. comedy because that's why you have Johnny Depp. That's why you have this guy. That's why you had Jack Sparrow. And that's an important thing is you can have an action movie, a straight up action movie, even a, a darker action movie, but still have comic relief in it and jokey moments. Uh, that that's kind of what uh, kind of the first Lethal Weapon is. You had a little bit. A, a hard movie, but still dark comedy, with Riggs being suicidal mm -hmm. at that point. And I thought of it just because of Iron Man three was done by Shane Black, who who does that kind of dark comedy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's incredibly vast tonal shifts, and and it Lone Ranger sucks because well, like one of the one of the big moments is. The landowner is trying to start a war between the cavalry and the, the Comanche because that's the last part of the railroad that needs to be connected and it's all part of silver and land deal and money, yada, yada, yada. And so he's basically instigating this conflict to get the Comanche wiped out. And so we get a scene where you get this tonal shift that's so crazy it just breaks your neck in that the, the, 
the Lone Ranger is betrayed and he's going to get executed. And Tonto does this comedic rescue attempt to where he dresses up like a Chinese person. Oh my god. And drives a train backwards in order to block the shooting, the, the execution party from shooting Lone Ranger. And they get away on one of those little hand carts. Oh my god! And so there's a, a chase scene between the handcart and a and a railroad train. The director really likes that because that was in Rango, wasn't it? Um, I think I could swear that was possibly. I, I think. It was. But anyway, it's like goofy scene. We're we're being chased, and and arrows are shooting down, and and the Lone Ranger is still blindfolded. So he's like, "What's going on, Tonto?" And Tonto's like, "Nothing, Kimosabi." And so it's it's all the songs. <laughs> it's 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 moments rain. of hilarity. And then what happens is the Indians attack, and so the the Union commander gets out two mini guns, and it's like the end scene in the Last Samurai, where the Indians get absolutely butchered and slaughtered. And is it played for laughs or is it just like complete like no, horror? It's, it's, it's just it's horror. It's like horror and just like how the Last Samurai. Adagio ends. for strings. Adagio <laughs> for strings. And, and characters are just being riddled with bullets and dying horribly. And this is a comedy? And this happens right after Tonto makes the escape on the comedic Oh train my god! And, and you're like, not only is that horrible from a writing standpoint and a tone standpoint... Holy shit! But the Lone Ranger just failed... Like, he, he's trying to prevent this war between the Indians and the, but, and the white people. But let me guess, that's like the cult, that's when he finally, like, nuts up. That's when he finally nuts okay, up. Okay, okay, that's, but, like, that's about two hours too but, fucking late. Wow, is that too late, seeing as how they won already. It took the, it took the souls of about 400 <laughs> fucking dead Indians to make him realize that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, John. Yeah, th th thanks for about being too fucking late. I'm sure those I'm sure those dead Indians really are glad like, that you. That needs it. to be the end result. Is that he saves the Indians? Yeah, that's not the driving force of him finally fucking doing something. That should have been like the. They should have just been like the dead Indians, the smoking rubble, and the, the Lone Rangers just standing over, and like Tonto's just sta looking what? at. Him. No, just, like Tonto's <laughs> just looking at him, going. The end. <laughs> And you're like, what the fuck was that? And you're like, I'd have been, no, 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 just like, just like the end, like just stark black roll credits and silence. I'd have been like, <laughs> like, what are you clapping? Oh, fucking brilliant. Worst superhero ever. <laughs> like, it would have been like the tale of like the worst fucking like failure of a hero ever. Like, that's what happens when a pussy gets superpowers. <laughs> I mean. Tano, when the when the horse first picks him, he's just like, no, no, you don't want him. No, it's like, no, fuck that. They get a new guy. <laughs> you want the brave brother. No, get the, yeah, the other, like, yeah, why didn't the spirit pick the sheriff? And by the end, you're going like, why didn't he pick the brave one? <laughs> what, yeah, what, no, really, like, did they give a reason why the spirit picked the idiot? No. Yeah. Why? Why? Did, why didn't he? That's never explained. That's there's no reason why the spirit shouldn't have picked the competent. They could have even thrown something, pulled something straight out of their ass, like he has purity of heart. Yeah. They usually pull that one out, but they don't even do it here. Yeah, They're like, just like, like the spirit sees greatness in you, Kimosabe, like or something like that, or like yeah. And he's just like, why did he pick him? And Tano, it's like a joke. Tano's like, I don't fucking know. Does he say that though? Does he? Does he ask why? Well, yeah. He, oh, and, yes, boy. And, and just, Tano's just like, eh. Uh, do, do. Okay, so they asked the question at least. The horse is strange. Like, it's like the spirits are strange. Kimosabi. Like the bullshit. Fuck you, man. Like, <laughs> so they asked the question, but like, because the, the audience asked the question, <laughs> and the Tano's like, eh, you want to watch the movie or not? And we're like, no. <laughs> Fuck you. Why? The movie should have been about that. Yeah, no, really, because, like, the movie should have been about that guy. The movie would have been awesome if it was about that guy. I'll say this. Quiggly Down Under, ten times the movie right. Lone Ranger. Yes! And that's the exact same thing. Yes! Someone's brought into a foreign land. Yes! He's unfamiliar with. He's skilled. 
he gets betrayed by the person who hired him, left for dead in the desert. He comes back and gets vengeance on Hans Gruber. That's the difference. You know, the difference is that fucking Quigley used a rifle, but the thing is, like, that Quigley walks in and he's a badass. He's always been a badass, and the Lone Ranger was always a Texas Ranger. And that's, that's that's why they call him a fucking Lone Ranger. And that's all you need is someone who who gets into fist fights, goes on horseback rides, and 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 shoots things. That's why they call him the Lone Ranger. because he's a Texas fucking Ranger. That sucks. And really, the the only moment where I perked up was the final final. But he's scene doing something because he's doing something. He's being a ranger and he's and riding know, around on the horse shooting shit. This is a terrible comparison, but there's a movie. My favorite movie is Big Trouble in Little China, which is about basically an incompetent white guy on an action adventure with the, his what's supposed to be his sidekick Wang. You know, and it's, it's, even the movie thinks it's about the white, beefy action hero and his Asian sidekick, Wang. When the movie is, the movie is actually about the, the Asian hero trying to get his girlfriend back. But the movie thinks it's about the white guy trying to get his truck back. You know what I mean? So, the movie thinks it's about the guy getting his truck. You know, so that's why the camera's always on Jack Burton. But it's about this, you know, it's about the kung fu master trying to get, like, the, the movie's like, no, truck. And the guy's like, I gotta get my woman. So, like, even Jack Burton, who doesn't know how to fight, he doesn't know how to shoot, even he could, like, punch a guy? Even he was like, he's like, I'm badass, let's go get this dude. So, well, like, even if, like, the Lone Ranger, even if you were gonna do this, even if you were gonna do, like, the Lone Ranger's an idiot thing, even if you were gonna do this, that's how you do it. Is like you make the long range. You, well, what this is well, the style doesn't fit the, the 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 what the action of what you're doing because you can have a movie where you have the the Lone Ranger is a boob who just stumbles over himself. Well, although I say that that's what the Green Hornet is, and the Green Hornet sucked ass. But you do it as a full on comedy. Yeah, that's what Rango was. Rango is a, he's an idiot. He's a liar. And he fools the town into thinking he's a badass sheriff. That would have sucked though if they did that with the Lone Ranger. And and that's what the movie is 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 out. It, it's basically that is basically a remake of Three Amigos. It was, no, it was, it was. And 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 so yeah, uh, but but that's how you do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it for the Lone no, Ranger no. because that's an action title. But I'm saying if that's what you're doing, that's how you do it. You don't do it to where. It's it's like thirty three percent high camp, and then twenty five percent action and thirty something percent grim just murder. It, did, <laughs> it just sounds to me like it didn't need to be this fucking hard. You know, it it just needed to be a really it just needed to be a simple story like you know uh, the uh, uh, and that's Ser why like Sergio Leone. This is a Sergio Leone film. It's supposed to be. No, like, you got Clint Eastwood right into town, and there's bad guys. You know, cattle rustlers. You know, some guy's trying to, like, hijack a train, or there's some guy making a land grab, or there's some guy trying to, like, steal a mine, or there's some guy who's, who's trying to, like, extort money from a town, and the Lone Ranger is there, and he tries to stop them. That's it. That's your movie. It's simple. That's what, you know, the Lone Ranger was never complicated. He's That's there. why it doesn't need to be two and a half hours. Yeah, no shit. It doesn't it's, need a, to it's a simple, it's a simple story. Yeah. And that, it's, it's an action story. And, and yeah, like, the Lone Ranger rides up on top of a hill. He sees some fucking bad guys harassing, like, a wagon train. And he's like, motherfuckers. And he rides down and he kills them. Or he arrests them. Or whatever. This the, isn't fucking hard. The main beats of this story can be done, and it can be done in 90 minutes. Exactly. He's, you don't even need to establish who the Lone Ranger is, because that's the point. He wears a mask. You don't know who he is. He's a lawman. He's betrayed by, by people in power, the railroads and the army. He takes up the mask, and he gets revenge on people. Right. I just summarized your whole movie, and you don't need to do... You don't need to have him go into a brothel 
and ask around as to where people are and, and, and talk to Helena Bonham Carter, who's a completely useless character, a worthless character, who can be cut out of the movie. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to have them have a 20-minute scene with the Indians doing nothing. Uh, yeah, you yeah. don't need it. No. And, like, it, you don't, yeah, you don't need any of this shit because it's, it's not a difficult movie. You, this really should have been a dirt simple movie. And not, let me go back to a different example here. This is a good comparison. Dread. The movie Dread. This was such a simple movie. And it was great. Because it didn't try to overcomplicate this. Dread is a cop. He gets a call. There is shit going down in this building. He's like, I'm on it. He goes in there. The building locks down. He's like, there's bad guys on the top floor. He's like... I'll go get him. He goes there. The bad guys try to stop him. He kills everybody. He gets to the top floor. He kills the bad guy. Credits. That's it. <laughs> That's the fucking movie. So, Lone Ranger rides into town. We don't know who he is. We know he's the Lone Ranger. He's got a star on his chest. He wears a fucking mask. The whole point of the fucking Lone Ranger is we don't know who he is. We know he's a Texas Ranger. We know he wears a mask. The whole point of the mask is we don't know who he is. Nobody knows who he is. There's bad guys. He's there to arrest them. They got a problem with that. Obviously. So he's like, where are these guys? And they go, well, they're holed up in that old mine. He's like, I'm on it. He rides on his horse. He shoots him with fucking silver bullets. It's several action scenes. Finally, he meets the big, swarthy, fucking hairy bad guy. He shoots him in the face. Credits. And you, you can have... And I can even assume that you want to make a family movie. You can make a family adventure movie. And, and, and... It's not like I'm saying, like, oh, there needs to be no violence in this movie. No, there can be violence. There people has to. Well, have... People can be shot. Uh, I'm saying people can be shot and died and that sort of thing. But when you're like... Doing genocide to the Indians and cutting out people's hearts, <laughs> like <laughs> you, well, <laughs> if you're gonna make it a family friendly movie, it's gonna be cheesy because you gotta essentially make it in the same style as the old, the really really old shorts because those were cheesy. You know where it was, you know it was kind of him like running around. You know, you know how they were like a movie. I I. I that springs to mind that actually did it well, I mean, maybe you'll disagree, is Three Musketeers. The one the with Disney fucking one. Kiefer Sutherland? Yes. It was a simple adventure story. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one because it had Tim Curry in it. It Tim had Curry Tim Curry as movie. an over-the-top villain. You had, you had Oliver Platt. All for what? And more for me. You had yes. Kiefer Sutherland. Oh my god. Chris O'Donnell. And and you... Oh, my God. You had that other villain who's in everything, who's got the gravelly voice. Ro uh, Roquefort. Yes, I know. Oh, the one. Yes. One for all. That gravelly voice. It was in Strange Days. I know and, that and guy. And the villain from The Crow. Yeah, yeah. In The Crow. Get that guy. Get him. He's a, he's a good bad guy. <laughs> but, like, it's a, it's a stupid adventure story, but it's... It's lighthearted fun. Okay. It gets the job done. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a Disney movie. All right, all right. And all it right. worked. Oh, my God. You used that as a positive example. But all right. <laughs> I did. All right. It's better than Lone Ranger. It is. Well, I haven't seen it, obviously, but I'll, I'll, I will... From what it sounds like... Oh, my God, yeah. But even my earlier example, Zorro. Yeah, I mean, oh, well, yeah. Shit, I liked Zorro. I did. Yeah, I, did. I mean, you, you have... Westerns aren't that bad. No, you can well, have them go around. You can have them shooting people, punching people, blowing yeah. shit up. Yeah. I mean, I, I mentioned Quigley Down Under. That's not a, a terrible no, movie. No, no. No, fucking that, Quigley's awesome. No, I mean, in like, too violent or something no, like that. I no, no. I mean, it, this isn't hard. No. I'm just saying, you don't need to go over the top with this shit. No. You don't need to go. You don't need to go fucking uh, uh, desperado. Man. 
They're going like end Un- of unforgiven. The, I'm sorry, unforgiven. They're like going end of the wild bunch on some of these. That sounds like fucking. Well, the Last Samurai. If you ever saw that, was shit. That sound. If, yeah. Yeah. My God, that fucking ending was bleak. Yeah. Yeah, man. Lone Ranger could have been fucking eighty five minutes. You that you could have been in and out of there and like it could have been a great movie. If it was if it was ninety minutes of Lone Ranger wrecking people shit. Yeah. He I'd rides into town, there's bad guys, he arrests them. That's it. Like I'd buy two tickets for that. Because <laughs> that was Dread. Dread was a little longer than that, but seriously, Dread was an action Dread was an action movie. Simplest premise in the world. But it nailed it. It was like it didn't try to be too much. It tried to do what Dread does, which is fight crime. He went into a building, he fought crime. He did it really well. There was there's seriously nothing to Dread's character. But they didn't fuck it up. You know what I mean? They went in there, the Lone Ranger has two things about him. He's a fucking badass, he wears a mask, and he has silver bullets and a horse named Silver. They fucked it up! You know, like... This even, is... Even the last action scene was good. If they kept it up for for 90 minutes, it would have been a decent movie. Yeah. So... So, I, I remember before we started rolling camera, you were... You were pondering um, how bad this movie was, like, in comparison to the other movies you'd seen this year. And again, this is coming from you being the nice guy, and from you being forgiving of Superman, or Man of Steel. So, you were looking at a list, and I I dragged you in front of the couch again. So, where do you think this stands in terms of the other movies? Because you watch a lot more movies than I do. Well, keep in mind, I've avoided a lot of... Bad movies. Well, After Earth, for comparison. Which like, is... I, I know there's worse movies out there, and I actually oh, yeah, haven't yeah. seen that many... I haven't seen that many from this mo- from this year. I A lot of the ones I can wait for for DVD. So, like, I haven't seen Movie 43. I haven't seen Inappropriate Comedy. You have to seen... leave... Some of those movies you have to leave out, because, like, those are, like, on a different plane. Like, Inappropriate Comedy, Movie 43. Like, those are, like... Those are, those are like wow movies where like you have, I have no idea how those get, I have no idea how those get greenlit. You know, the, those really, really bad comedies are, um, comedies have left, have like left me by, you know what I mean? The, well, the whole notion of the spoof comedy, you know, what used to pass for like the Zucker Brothers spoof comedy movie, you know, that spoofed movies. Uh, the, what started with Scary Movie, you know what I mean? What passes for the Scary Movie, what passes for the modern movie comedy that has now been mutated into, like, Movie 43 and shit like that. I don't, I don't even know. So, like, yeah, with 40, you can't even count those. So, like, those aside... Um, I've seen most of the big releases. Okay, yeah, so, so, like, we're talking, like, mainstream here. You know what I mean? And so the only ones that... that are like in the same category, uh, a good day to die hard, <laughs> and after Earth, Cypher Rage. It's close. Do you think it's close? It is. And uh, look, you well. See, the thing is, After Earth was probably a lot shorter. Was it? I don't know. I think it was like two hours. It was about. Uh, I don't know. It felt long. <laughs> I think it was shorter. I think it, it was probably right, right around two hours. Because there were still... There were still some positive things in the movie. Hold on. Uh, like, Johnny Depp can be funny at times. And like I said, the last action scene is good. But man, do you have to tread through a lot to get to those points. I mean, I'm sitting in the theater. This dog. I'm sitting in the theater, and my face just gets more and more grim. As I I'm can see. Like, I can see him. I've seen it happen, where he just starts like he. It was Transformers two, two where he's like, they're go, like. I think it's like when they're going to the desert, and I see him just like. It's it's pan dripping away. Like it it happens. Like I cut. Um, <laughs> There's like a time lapse where I I just cross my arms 
<laughs> and my head gets lower. And I He's just, fucking I, losing I, his patience, man. Like, it yeah. doesn't happen often, <laughs> but like you can see it when his shit hit. Like his shit is finally like. My, my blood starts to boil, and I just silently simmer. And he looks at me. <laughs> he looks at me, and he's like, "How much longer is left in this movie?" And like, you can tell there's like a chill to his voice, where he's like, "I'm gonna fucking kill somebody." He's like, he's and he's like, he's a sheriff's deputy. He's like, "I got a gun. I'll fucking do it." And like, and I'm like, I'm looking over because I know how long this movie is. I'm like, it's 45 minutes in. And I'm like, you got like an hour and 45 minutes, and he's like. <laughs> and I'm like, because ah, 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 ah. I'm like, I'm like at that moment where it's like gallows humor, where I'm like, I'm like, because you weren't there for the first one, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and he's like, ah. I'm like, is it gonna suck? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I, I don't think I pissed off the people I went with because there are moments like right before that action scene where, like I said. You, you grow to hate this, the Lone Ranger. And I, I'm just going like... <sighs> you made that noise. You, you started doing that. I, I try not to be that guy. I try so hard not to be that guy. I try not to do that where I'm sitting in a bad movie and I'm like... <sighs> <laughs> I swear you could... If it, people in the first row could have heard me <laughs> just been like... Because you, <sighs> you do it without realizing it. And then you'll notice people are looking at you like, because <laughs> they're trying to enjoy it, and like I'm totally not. But yeah, but I could see how you'd be like, don't do it, don't. Because <sighs> like he runs away like one more time, or he's like trying to shoot his gun, and he's like, Duh, and he drops it, and you're like, <sighs> you know, two and a half hours for the Lone Ranger. I tell you, time is what really kills me for movies. And like you can see it, you can see it if it didn't wasn't that long. Like he starts off as this boob, we're, but we're, he gets over it. Like you know, we're bringing up on the on the matter of Transformers. I I was telling you like, I would say Transformers Three would be a passable movie if you made it ninety minutes. Oreo, you're killing this feline. You're killing it. Do you realize this? It would be a passable movie, mainly because you cut out all the stupid shit. But really, it wouldn't be so objectionable if it was in and out. But when you make it two and a half hours of deep wang. Okay, here's like okay, here's <laughs> if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna do this, here's how you do it. You make you have the guy. He goes to town, and he's like, he's a complete boob, and he's like. I came out west to help you, you know, his sheriff brother, and he's like, he's like, you're not cut out for this, All right? He's like, he's like, but I want to do some good. I'm a lawyer, but I'm not, I, I'm not helping anybody, you know. I'm, I, I spend my time helping bad people get out, you know. Like I don't feel like I'm helping anybody. I want to help you, you know. And he's like, he's like, you know what? Maybe, like, you know, maybe I give it some time. And he's like, no, but you're gonna. I can learn from you, okay? Like, teach me. Like, he... So he's like, okay, okay. So, like, you know, a day goes by, he teaches him how to shoot, and he, he can't shoot for shit. You know, and he's... so, But he gets deputized. He's like... So this guy, he starts terrorizing people, and he gets... So he's like, take me with you! And he's like, I, sh I, I can't take... So he rides off. The sheriff rides up, and he leaves him behind. He's like, you gotta watch the jail. So watch the jail. And he starts... He's an idiot. He's like, he falls asleep, and... So... Then he, like, he realizes that everyone's ridden off without him, and he's like, I'm going to help him, and so he rides off, and so he finally catches up, and, you know, the bad guys have attacked, and he rides off, and, you know, he's, the bad guy's got his brother hostage, and he's like, and, you know, the bad guy's got his brother hostage, and he, he's about, you know, he, he's going to take the shot, and he, he can't do it, or something like that, and the bad guy's like, ha, 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 and he blows his brother's head off, and then he shoots him. And so because he was a coward, or because he was an idiot, or he fell down, or something like that, because he was a complete idiot, he got his brother killed. So, he gets, uh, you know, he gets raised from the dead. And so because he was an idiot, or because he was a coward, now he's over it. And so he's still kind of an idiot because he's unpracticed, but that's something to get over. It's over now. You know, it's, or at least he's getting over it. It's something to overcome. 
But it's, it's over, you know? But it's strange that, for the most part, Tano is the capable one. Yeah, well, that's yeah, exactly. And the Lone Ranger is the comic relief. That's the Jack Burton thing. Even more comic than the comic relief. That's the Jack Burton effect. It's because, like, Wang was the competent one and Jack Burton... But at least Jack Burton had, like, he wasn't... But Wang wasn't a, com- a, a no. comic character no. either. No, and he, he shouldn't have been. Because... And that was... Essentially, Big Troll in Little China was the Green Hornet. Kind of. It's it's kind of like pairing up Jack Sparrow with C-3PO. To exactly. Play. And that and doesn't work, because there's nobody at all heroic in this movie. <laughs> So you're like, who am I supposed to cheer for? They're both idiots, you know, like, yeah. Because, yeah, so, yeah, okay, so bottom line here. Is, is there any redeeming, because you said it was funny in places, so, but, yeah, you, this is... In places, but, like I said, the time, time is what really kills it. Right. I mean, it, you're waiting so long for something to happen. When the action scene comes, it's great. So, but, but, but like, what what kind of movie is this? Is it a comedy or is it a, is it an is it like it's is it supposed to be an action movie and it fails or is it like a straight up comedy or is it trying to be like a buddy action adventure? Like, what is it? It's like a buddy action film. It plays off a lot like pirates. Okay, so it wants to be like an action adventure movie. That's supposed to be like the Orlando Bloom Jack Sparrow thing. Yes. But at least like Orlando Bloom, he wasn't an idiot. He was bland as fucking white toast, but yeah. he was he could fight. He could always fight. He wasn't a fucking coward. Like he Yeah. Could you imagine that movie if like Orlando Bloom was like You've got to fight Barbosa. And he's like, die. He was like Woody <laughs> Allen. Like he was. I don't know. I don't. I I, I. 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 I'm more good with the fountain pen. Like you know. Like I. Do you have a typewriter? I could write a scathing letter. You know. Like I could write a negative review of his restaurant. I don't. You know. Like I cut people down the size of my wit. <laughs> How appropriate you fight like a cow. You know. Like I thought we were fighting with insults. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm sorry, I have asthma. <laughs> you know, that would have been... Oh, that would have taken the cake if he had fucking a, a hay fever or something like that. Like, even after he got raised from the dead, he had fucking allergies. It's, it's like, you come, back, you come back from the dead, Kimosabi, and you still have hay fever? Oh, my God. Like, oh, Jesus. Okay, so... You, you were like, still, this is like top contender for like worst movie you've seen this year, or like, you know, it's like it's, right up it's there. It's among them. It's just boring. It's boring? Well, I thought, you, okay, so. Because, oh. like I said, it, the Lone Ranger doesn't do anything. Yeah. There's, there's moments with action elements in them, but there's no. There's no action scenes. Like, there, there's no. Well, it's not, well, you, well, you said there were, but he's just an idiot. There, there, well, there were, it's just he's so completely ineffectual, there might as well not be, right? I mean, I'll, I'll quickly describe okay. the, the first action yeah, scene. Cause, yeah, because I'm not getting it now. It's because, okay, the, the bad guy has escaped from the train. Okay. He's, he's, he, he was on, like, a prison train, but he escapes. And so okay. Tonto and, and John are on the train, which is now speeding out of control. It's speeding out of control, and, it, and, and the, the track isn't finished yet, so it's heading towards this, this to a point where it's going to derail. Mm. And so they make their way to the top of the train to see what they can do, and they run across a bad guy with a gun. Mm-hmm. And so they're chained together, and he why goes they, like... Wait, why are they chained together? Because the bad guy chains them together, because the Lone Ranger's incompetent. Okay. So he raises his hands, and there's like a pulley system that they're passing by... And the okay. pulley system lifts them up and they swings them around, yeah, spin, spin around. They have to do that. Yeah. And they, they bypass the bad guy. And they they unhinge the, the passenger cars. Okay. And they stay on the top of the train as it derails and they fly off. Like, that's an action scene. But they don't really... You know, see what I was saying? It has action elements in it, but they don't really do anything that you They get. only escape because he's lucky, right? Because he raised his hands and yeah. they caught him. Okay, they don't do anything because of necessarily heroic action movie stuff. It's just things that happen that's so, fast-paced. That's so lame. And so you're waiting two hours 
as they go around and Johnny Depp is acting weird. Because, like, okay, see, what makes me mad about that is, see, I would you're not raging. You're just, you, set, you, you sound lied to. You know what I mean? That's where, that's where you're coming from. And I would, uh, my default mode is rage. I'd have come back and rage because I would have been lied to. You just feel hurt. You look hurt. You know what I mean? Like my, my non-word re- review of this movie would have just been... <sighs> right. Because <laughs> this, the trailer, from what you're describing was like, this isn't the movie that was sold. Like, all you're seeing is him riding around on silver, shooting guns. And then, and, like... And Tonto just swinging around on ropes and, and, and bashing people's heads in and, and doing all this sort of stuff. But, like, you see... Like, in the trailer, like, you'd see them swinging around on the thing, but you didn't see him, like, Oh, no! Like, so, like, you'd see the thing where, like, they'd do the funny thing, but you didn't see them, like, being an idiot. So, like, yeah, the thing would hit him, in the, like, near the groin and be like... Woo! But you didn't see the... You, you know what I mean? So, like... But th- they sold it like it was like an action hero adventure. They didn't sell it like, watch the Lone Ranger be a complete idiot. You know? So, it, that's not... Because if, if they'd have showed that in the trailer, nobody would have watched it. Because nobody wants to see a movie where the Lone Ranger's a complete buffoon. So you don't I don't see know. any moments where the Lone Ranger's a buffoon in the trailer. Yeah, and so I'm like, why he's did all, they... He's always just like, I'm going to kill him, and, and he's like, oh, and shoot it. There's no moments of him going like... Yeah, so like, <laughs> I don't know, why, why would you make a movie like that? Like, how would... Why, why would the producers sign off on a movie like that? Like, even like... If, if you're a producer on this movie, and somebody pitched this film to you, like... Why would, like, you'd be like, why don't you just make a movie, like, I can't imagine a producer signing off on this, like, my default reaction would be like, why don't you just make a movie where the Lone Ranger, like, rides a horse and shoots people? Like, why would you do this thing where he does this, like, like, Marquess of Queensberry boxing shit, like, just have him fight crime. My only guess is they, they go, we need Johnny Depp, like. Or Verbinski hasn't made a, a, an unprofitable movie. He made Pirates. We want to make another Pirates. He directed Pirates. But and Johnny can, Depp was also in Pirates. But you can do Johnny Depp, but you don't need to make them both fucking clowns. So, like, I don't get that. And so they're just like, we trust you to do whatever. Alright. This is a... So, basically, it comes down to, like, a completely deceptive trailer. That is... That sucks. I hate that. That That's... That's like... Okay, so... You would not recommend this movie, then. No. Okay, so The Lone Ranger, not good. I will not be seeing this movie, then. Um, but you are forcing me to go watch... Wait, that's next week? That's next week. I will not be here! <laughs> I will be in Finland! Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to do it. Finland! <laughs> after, after all he's bitched. Finland! After all the bitching and moaning, I am going to knock him out and drag him to the theater to see Pacific Rim. Not unless you're coming to fucking Finland! <laughs> Thank you, Finland! <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna... The people demand it. I'm gonna be in Finland. Yeah! I'm gonna be at Anime Con in Finland. I'm gonna come back, but like, <laughs> you're gonna see it. Oh man, your fans are not gonna let you get by. Oh man, not after how much you've raged. I'm gonna dodge a bullet though. You're gonna forget. You're gonna forget. No, I won't. Oh my god. <sighs> I really don't want to see the giant robots. You'll see the giant fucking robots. All right, good job, Miles. You have dodged the. I have dodged the silver bullet. Until next time, thanks for watching.